Music festivals can be notoriously exclusive, often excluding people who need accommodations. For the third year in a row, the organizers of the Shine Music Festival in Denver are trying to create an inclusive space where they hope that anybody who loves music will feel welcome. We have the opportunity as a community to break down barriers and open up doors. How's your day been going? <laughs> Everybody loves music. Music is this one platform that, even if it's just for a few hours, our socioeconomic status, our color of our skin, what we do for a living, nothing like that matters. It's that collective experience that we all share in. <laughs> just to be able to get out and and dance and move and just the freedom. I feel like it just gives a lot of freedom. Basically. And we just systematically go down the list of what could we do to make it more inclusive for all. This was last year's Shine Music Festival shirt and all of our shirts um, have implemented Braille. I love live music and when I recognize the one thing that I love the most wasn't inclusive and accessible for all. I wanted to create a live music experience that allowed everyone the access. And so for this transition, we'll have somebody, we're just gonna kind of have people hang in here. We're just constantly going out there and looking for new technologies and new ways to make the space more inclusive for everyone. We might experience it differently, uh, but everybody can experience the events uh, together um, and we should celebrate that. The world's a lot more beautiful when it's inclusive of everyone. That festival's taking place at RealWorks on Saturday. Admission is free, though donations will be accepted.